Epic fail. Uh-uh. Hey, good morning, guys. It is Sunday morning, and we're getting ready to go to Cars and Coffee over in Nightdale. Had to move Sue's car out of the way. I'm uh, going to spray this thing off. I don't have time to wash it. I guess I could go to the car wash, but sometimes it's just as easy to spray it down and drive fast. Uh, I put some of that uh, that shield stuff on there. Uh, what do they call that? Coating, quartz coating or whatever. So uh, it's kind of neat the way it just kind of comes right off when you just spray it. <clears throat> I'll just show you real quick. All right, just uh, rinsing off all the surface dirt. That's what I like about this new coatings. You know, you just can just spray it down and just drive. spray and dry, right? But looks like it's not coming off down here. That looks like it's remnants of my uh, zero to sixty the other day, yesterday. Oh, you gotta check this out! Check this out on the front wheels. You have a dirt. Look at that water. Oh my God! It's dirty water. I got some cleaning stuff I might spray in there and spray this down. I might just take it through the car wash. It's pretty, pretty bad for car show. I want it to look nice. I don't know. It might not be that bad. But um, anyway, we'll show you, uh, show you the show in just a little bit. I want to get a good parking spot this time. All right, later. All right, all sprayed down, ready to rock and roll. Wait for Sue to come out. Gosh, that is loud. That's a stock exhaust. <laughs> stock exhaust. Anyway. Wake up the neighborhood. Uh, oh, it did open both sides. I didn't know if that you guys, your car does the same thing, but as I walk near the car with my fob in my pocket, the lights come on, the headlights come on. I noticed that when I was washing it last week. Um, it was kind of strange. Anyway, alright, we'll see you in a minute. event is just starting here. Cars are still pulling in. That's what's nice about cars and coffee versus um, you know car shows. You can kind of come when you want and leave when you want. It's a detail shop here. Raffle ticket. Majestic solution. 
Are these samples? They are. Yes. Oh, thank you. Yes, sir. Excellent. And it's a free coffee and a raffle at 10.30. Oh, awesome. Yeah. Excellent. Raffle ticket. Excellent. Thank you. 10.30. Starbucks coffee, no joke. Yeah. For sale. All right. So the event so. is just starting. Park with the uh, the Mopar guys. They're up here. I'm gonna stop by and say hi. Uh, I think it's the uh, Outlaw 1320 group. I'm stop by and say hello. But uh, this is one of those days. Uh, Sundays too. People show up late. Wow! Look at this. Look at the suspension. I'm not talking about wide body. Good lord. that thing corners or what? neighbor's car. We want to hear start up in the morning. I always like this. I almost bought one. Pacific blue metallic, I think it was Pacific gray they call it, but it was like a bluish color. Pretty nice. Well, they saved the missing formation. I got a spot right here. I'm park that. Thirteen Twenty Outlaw Group here. I just joined up with them. Well, there's there's another G Eight. Over here, two of them. Isn't that neat? Oh, actually, this is it. But my neighbor's is yellow. That's right. This is it. <laughs> Don't worry, I zip tied it. G8s here. Look at this. Carolina G8 Car Club. <laughs> car might explode. I built this shit myself. At least you got something. <laughs> That's cute. So this is the car we saw over in Clayton. Hey, what's going on, boss? Good to see you. I got, I got, I parked front row seating. 
Yeah, yeah I walked by over there and saw your car. Yeah. I see you got a spot over here. So I didn't realize it was head. Hey! He hit me in the head. <laughs> hey. head. What's going on, Drago? What are you doing? Good hey, you we're all the time, man. You remember. Yes, sir. What's that? Sky One. Oh, yeah. <laughs> How are you doing Good. today? Good. I'm vlogging. Look at the color of this Camaro. All you got to do is rock it. Oh, the guy just uh, chat with. He's got this car here. I want you to see the the louvers. These are the uh, Dale's Cuda shop. So he's got the aluminum louvers and it's got the hinge. You actually have to drill. But uh, these are really nice louvers. I would have liked to have got those. A little bit, a little bit pricey, but you know the quality is nice. They don't rattle or anything. Probably should have gone with that, but. A little uh, uneasy about drilling and uh, removing the headline of course. Well, I like the look of that Camaro. That color is pretty cool. Alright, so uh, heading back over from my wife and we'll do a little quick walk. Good turnout today, though. Um, waiting for something interesting I can show you guys. When I come up to it, I'll, uh, I'll film it. See ya. Alright, she uh, Sue wants to look at the Grand National. It is a Monte SS. When I sold cars, I sold those Monte Carlo SS's. I thought they were pretty good value. So this is uh, pretty heavily modified. Changed that whole intake around. So these Monte Carlos are gorgeous inside. I, I love these cars. Now they had the Sportback window as well. I like it like this. And I wasn't a fan of this color, but we had them in black. We had issues with the paint though. They had spots on them from the factory, but, but man, I love the interior of these cars. If I get it, wow, well, this is not, this is classic, but it's not. It will be. I mean, they're, they already are collectors, but. But the real Monte Carlo was that big old Bodhi one. So here's a Chevy 2. Oh, she likes the Pontiacs. Yeah. It's a, the Tempest 326. Yeah, my friend of mine had one of these. Get a blue one. I know, my last car, we don't have that many photos of me with the RT, the red one. They were the ones asking me. Uh. This is what I'm missing in my car. I'm missing that supercharger. We get the leg maker in there. But his tires, uh, looks like he squeezed on some bigger wheels. What's he running on the back here? Oh, Nittos. Five. So those are racing slicks. Huh. They get a little good bite with those tires. Yeah. yeah. So here's the G8. Well, these are different cars. Oh, the G Grand, uh, Grand Prix, the G8s are over here. Yeah. Well, they did first. They did the GTO, and they didn't sell them, and then they came out with these G8 GTs. The red one. Yeah. 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 And those are holding, so that's a holding also. 
the cop cars uh some of the cop cars are are those styles too now you can tell by the front fenders they'll be flared out like yeah. so they know know about some cars i'm not a car expert but i know a little bit about the stuff oh look at these little fiats Whoa. that's a pretty daytona right there isn't it Muffler delete sounds like. Got the quad tips on it. Just another day. Nice and cool out here. Cloudy. Yeah, it's really good. When you're naked, what? There's already handcuffs. Oh. <laughs> a little Mazda club here. Oh gosh, that bacon smells really good. Uh -huh. I brought a granola bar. Oh, that sounds good. So they say that the cops are out here both directions when you go to leave. So they say drive east. We should have made a sign up top of the head. Warn people. Maybe when I leave, I'll drive like an old granny lady just to piss them off. I know Nightdale police. <laughs> that looks like out of a off of high rock. Oh yeah, that's an old. Oh, a Sabre. I thought it was an Impala. Oh, look at that with the dice. That's cute. Let's get the interior. Look at that dash. Isn't that gorgeous? Yeah. Just don't do that anymore. Skyline. Honey. I want to look at this black car. This is like uh, from Fast and the Furious, the Skyline. Oh, look at that. You gotta put that decal. Says, I almost had you. Oh, dude, I almost had you, dude. Remember that line? Paul Walker. It's gonna be so much fun to drive. Look at the freaking tires on it. That thing is fast. You know, it handles probably crazy good.
It's always the Mopar people that are the bad boys. Cat hood. That's what I got on mine. Um, Let him up. There we go. That's a 392 here. I guess all bassy when it shifts. Love that. Take it easy, man. Mopar team. It's always the Mopar guys that are, Mopar guys are the bad guys. It's always the bad boys. <laughs> this is funny. All right. Hopefully we'll see some action now.
epic fail. Oh, get him out. He's on this side, this side, this side. He's got to go out on the other. Can he get out on the other side? Just upset because he hurt his car, but uh, he's in good shape. He's in good shape. So anyway, but yeah, this is what they're gonna do. This is gonna ruin everything. I think he wants everybody to go. Anyway, so you gotta be careful. It's fun to show off. But just, uh, it's just not worth it. All right, I'm back. All right, guys, so uh, I feel really bad for that guy. Um, his car's pretty messed up. I don't think it's total, though, but I don't know, it's a lot of damage. Depends on what year it is, you know, whether they'll total it or not. But uh, yeah, just gotta be careful. Um, I don't know, film it. Don't let other people show off. Just uh, stay safe. Even on the track, it's dangerous, so you gotta just be real careful. All right. See you in a little bit. Just wrapping up today. Um, man, what an event. I pulled my shoulder out a little bit uh, flipping that uh, Mustang over. Um, I don't know. That was crazy. But I got to meet uh, some new people and had a great time. And, uh, and then Sue and I went to the farmer's market. Yay! And we split a uh, fried shrimp. That was so good. good. Oh my god, yeah. Mm. And uh, so anyway, I'm going to um, cut out some of the dry parts of this uh, video here. It's still going to be a long one, I think, and uh, upload it, and I'll uh, try to get this up tonight. Anyway, you all have a great day, a great week coming up, and uh, thanks for watching. Please, if you like this content, be sure to like and subscribe. Don't forget to hit that notification bell because I'm going to put some special content that you kind of need to... Uh, you need to have that uh, flagged or you're not going to see it. It won't index. Sure. All right. Have a good one. Thanks. Bye.